Hello. In this video, you learn about the second mode of executing your UFT developer test using the execution mode. If you want to learn more about the first mode, which is the standalone mode, watch the earlier video. Normally, if you create your tests, you design your tests, you have to develop a test and execute them on your local host machine without the containers. The purpose of execution mode is to take a designed test and execute in an isolated environment inside the containers. The nice thing about the execution mode is that at the end of the execution, the Docker container basically shuts down, the UFT developer Docker container. So how does this work? You have your UFT developer tests, which are basically stored in, are designed and stored in your local host machine. You compile them into a jar file and make them available on your host machine. And to execute these tests, all you now do is run a UFT developer Docker container, which is offered from Microfocus from the Docker Hub. And all you need to do is point the existing jar file on your local host machine to the Docker container. The Docker container will then get instantiated and will have access to the jar and the corresponding tests. The UFT developer container will then execute all the tests within the jar and then the results are published back into the local host run results folder, which is in the same location as the jar file. At the end of the execution, the UFT developer container is shut down automatically at the end of the test run. We will now see this in a demo. What you are seeing here is basically a UFT developers test. On the left side is the project structure. As you can see, I have a UFT developer test class created and within the test class I have five business process and five tests against that that are created to validate the business process. Let me open up one of the tests and show you. You can see test speakers label is one of the tests I have. Basically this goes to validate certain aspects of my application. Now what we are going to do is now run uh, run this test locally on my uh, desktop. Uh, the host name here, let's see the host name. As you can see, my host name is Ubuntu. We will now run a local test here first. Then we will run the same test inside the container in execution mode. So we'll use Maven clean install. What this will do is essentially clean the build and build the project again and create a new jar file. As a part of the test, as you can see, the UFT developer test is running and the five tests within the CleanFT test class gets executed. So this is the five tests that are executing right now in my local desktop in the Ubuntu host machine. Since this is a local test, it is not leveraging any containers at this point. Everything is running on my local desktop. My test is completed. You can see it's successful. I can just go to my run results and see the outcome in a run report, which is created by UFT developer. 
you have to developer gives a very clean report a HTML report you can see the class it's a lean FT class is under the default package and you can see the individual steps execution steps as it executed and on the right you can basically see the screenshots right you can expand you can see this is the object on which the actions were performed now so far we have seen this test execute on the local machine now what we will do when we ran the maven clean install a couple of things happened it cleaned up the earlier build and also created a new artifact for us as a part of the build file build process you can see a new jar got created here and now let's try to run this all the tests that we had created as a part of the class are now part of this jar we will now use this jar to run the tests in the execution mode in a uft developer container so to do that we will first stop lean ft in the local desktop this way lean ft engine has stopped in the local machine now what we will do is we will give permissions to the target folder where the jar file exists so that container uft developer container once it finishes the execution is able to publish these results back in the local desktop or the local machine let's give full permissions here Now that we are given the permissions we can now execute the docker container uft developer docker container in the execution mode let me explain the docker command in detail we are running the docker container in interactive mode we are exposing the port 5900 we are pointing to the Auto pass license server at this IP. We are running a JUnit test and we are running the Lean FT test class. All the tests within the Lean FT test class are being run. If you like, you can also select a specific test within the class that you want to run here. And we are mapping the volume so that we can expose our jar folder to the container test directory. And we are giving the name of the container as UFT Dev Chrome. And this here is basically LeanFT Chrome is the out of box UFT developer container that Microfocus offers in the Docker Hub, which customers can download and use it out of the box in their UFT automation test, UFT Dev automation test. So let's execute this and see the run. You can see the execution has started. We will now use the VNC viewer to see what's happening inside the container. You can see this is a view of what's happening inside the container. The tests have started to run inside the browser. So UFT developer is executing all the tests that are part of the Lean FT test class. At the end of the run, you can see basically the container is automatically shut down. The VNC viewer will sh has shown that. So if I just go back here on the prompt, you can see basically the container is shut down. This is one of the major difference between running UFT developer tests in standalone mode and execution mode. Now. To see the results, you can basically see in the prompt here all the five tests executed fine. It took about 27 seconds to execute all the tests. To see the results, you can basically go back to the same folder where we had the jar in your local machine. The UFT developer container created a folder called run results under the same folder as the jar. 
now if I open up the run results you will see a nice HTML report from the UFT developer the same as what we saw when we ran without the container so you can see here the host machine is different from Ubuntu you would notice in my first run I ran the test in my local desktop which was Ubuntu you can see here the host name is different this is the host ID of the container where you have to develop a container where we all the tests ran so you can see pretty much the same results you can see all the screenshots and if at all there were failures you will also get to see that list here thank you for listening